If you're considering buying the Microsoft Surface Book or Microsoft Surface Studio, here's one crucial thing that you need to know before you do, and it's something that I wish I knew before I bought one. This is a very hard video for me to make. When I reviewed the Microsoft Surface Book a couple of months ago, I said it was a best friend for everything. The versatility of having a laptop and a tablet with the capability for sketching on the go seemed almost too good to be true. And I guess it was. Soon after I recorded that video, I encountered something truly awful. Pen jitter. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of this already, Entrig technology is how the Surface Book interprets your pen strokes on screen and translates them visually. Yet, an inherent problem with Entrig technology is that slow, diagonal strokes will result in wobbly lines, not nice, smooth, sketchy lines like you'd want. This has been dubbed pen jitter, and it affects both the Microsoft Surface Book and Surface Studio. To demonstrate pen jitter on a surface book, I'm using a ruler to show you the extent of the problem. Drawing slow straight lines with the ruler horizontally and vertically will result in perfect lines as you'd rightfully expect. However, begin drawing them diagonally and you'll soon begin to see the extent of the problem. Even when using a ruler, the surface book simply cannot produce a slowly drawn straight diagonal line. This occurs regardless of what software you're sketching with, even in Photoshop, as well as the normal sketchpad. If you draw diagonal lines with speed on the other hand, there's not a problem and the Surface Book compensates for the jitter without you even realizing it's there. I first discovered this when I was trying to draw something simple like a circular object. Instead of trying to draw a circle in one quick stroke, which almost always resulted in some sort of odd oval shape where the start and end don't meet, I often use my hand position to slowly and carefully draw a smooth semicircle. Then I rotate the canvas to do the same on the opposite side, producing a pretty nice smooth looking circle. A brief disclaimer, I am certainly not a competent artist by any stretch, but my style uses a lot of doodles and rough hand drawn cartoons, which I just happen to draw slowly and carefully. Anyway, as I began to draw these semicircles with care, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. It was literally impossible to draw a smooth semicircle. No exaggeration. Impossible. I even tried drawing around a round object in disbelief, blaming my own shaky hand. But after a quick Google, I couldn't believe that this was working as Microsoft had intended. Now there's a big debate on whether this type of pen jitter is acceptable or not and I hope to settle it right here and now in this video. So here's the big question. Is pen jitter on the Microsoft Surface Book and Surface Studio acceptable? Well, one camp would say, I never draw that slowly so I don't really see the big deal or who even, who, who even draws that slowly anyway? I mean, whilst I totally get that a professional artist drawing freehand probably never ventures into pen jitter territory to start with. I hope that you guys understand that simply saying, well, it doesn't affect me, so who cares, is a little bit ignorant to the problem. Some argue that slow straight lines on paper would produce those kind of wobbly, not perfect lines anyway, and pen jitter is the kind of digital equivalent of this. Whilst I do sort of agree with that and I get the essence of where it's coming from, they definitely wouldn't be that wobbly. Also, in the same camp, there are plugins that you can get, such as Lazy Nozomi Pro, which helps to smooth out pen jitter and make slow diagonal lines much smoother. Does that really make it fine, though? Does that really make it okay? Well, whilst it's great that such a thing exists, let's just think about that for a second. 30 euros for a plugin to fix something that isn't apparently broken in the first place. I mean, why should Surface Book owners have to do that? Why can't Microsoft just fix it? Plus, in most examples I've seen, though it does minimize the pen jitter, it certainly doesn't eliminate it 100% by any stretch. Then, on the other hand, there's the other camp who say, no, actually, pen jitter isn't acceptable at all. Entrig is inferior technology and you should probably just stick with your Wacom tablet instead. Microsoft will never fix this because that's just how Entrig works. And you know what? I'm kind of inclined to agree with them. So, is pen jitter acceptable? Well, here's your final answer. For the price you pay for a Microsoft Surface Book and Surface Studio, and how it's constantly marketed towards artists, 
Hen jitter is simply unacceptable for me. It has been slightly improved on the Microsoft Surface Studio, but it is definitely still there. I don't want to sound dramatic, but for the style and method I used to draw, it was literally unusable. I mean, I paid a lot more for the versatility of a pen and tablet laptop, which I now no longer use that aspect of. And I may as well just be using a regular laptop now, and I may as well have just bought a Dell XPS 15 for less money and more power. What makes it more unacceptable is that Microsoft don't seem to be able to or are simply not interested in fixing this problem at all if ever. And the worst thing about pen jitter is that it's not a new thing. It's been around on Microsoft devices for the last two years in Surface Pros. So why can't they fix pen jitter? Well, that's because the cause of the problem is with a hardware issue with the Entrick technology, which all Microsoft devices use. So that means a software patch by Microsoft isn't even possible, it's the hardware that is to blame. Nothing will remedy the pen jitter apart from ditching or fixing Entrig, which I'm assured won't happen anytime soon. They could have fixed this years ago when the Surface Book was released, or even this year when the Surface Studio was released, but they haven't. So I'm not holding my breath for a fix. If you're not using the Surface Book for drawing and instead you just use the pen to annotate documents or screen grabs, feel free to ignore most, if not all of this video. I promise that you won't even notice the pen jitter and it won't even affect you. But if you are interested in buying the Surface Book or Surface Studio for creative purposes, maybe think twice and long and hard before you invest. So I've given you my opinion and most importantly my experience as someone who's owned the Surface Book for about eight months and how I've gotten on with pen jitter. I don't want to put you off the Surface Book or the Surface Studio or bash it by any means because I still stand by that it is a great piece of technology. But I think we can all agree that pen jitter and Entrig is something that you guys all need to be aware of before you buy the machine. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it helped. And most importantly, don't forget to weigh in on the pen jitter debate in the comments below. Is it acceptable? Will it stop you buying one? Do you own a Surface Book or a Surface Studio and it doesn't affect you? Please do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech reviews before you go. And that's all from me for today. Mark, over and out.